Let me give you a simple example to understand the simulation in capital budgeting. Let's say you have taken up a project and this project is going to generate cash flows for you but you are not sure which cash flow you are going to get because when you look back into the history you have seen the cash flow of 10,000, you had seen the cash flow of 15,000, you had seen the cash flow of 18,000, you had also seen the cash flow of 20,000. So you are now worried which cash flow you are going to get. So what, what you should do is you should see how many times you got the cash flow of 10,000, how many times you got 15, how many times you got 18 and 20. So express that number of times as the percentage of total times which you have looked into. Let's say uh, you, uh, you look back into the history and history says a 20% probability that you get uh, uh, 10,000. That is if you have uh, 10 different types of uh, times and in the 10 different of different times you had on two occasions this 10,000 then the probability of getting 10,000 is 20 percent or we can say it is 0 0.20. Similarly you have to look into the probability of 15,000 and say it is 30 percent that is 3 out of 10 times so it is 0 0.30. Similarly, you have to look for 18,000 and uh, 20,000. Let's say 18,000 happened to be 40%, so the probability is 0.4. And the 20,000, so you have to see what is the remaining one, so it is uh, 10%. The probability for 20,000 is 10%, that is 0.1. So now you have the information as to what are the cash flows, what is the probability. Now, if you want to approach this issue through simulation model, then you have to develop what is known as cumulative probability. You have to develop what is known as cumulative probability. That is, for each and every scenario, you will aggregate the probability. So, for your uh, outcome 1, you had 4 outcomes, right? You have outcome number 1, 2, 3 and 4. For your outcome 1, cumulative probability is 0 0.20, whereas for your outcome 2, the cumulative probability is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.50. And for your outcome 3, the cumulative probability is going to be 0 0.90. And for outcome 4, your cumulative probability is going to be 1. Then you have to develop what is known as class intervals. We'll call it as a random class interval. The class interval is nothing but 0 to 19 because your cumulative probability is 0 0.20 that is 20 percent so your class interval is expressed as 0 to 19 whereas your next cumulative probability is 0 0.5 that is 50 percent so your next class interval can be 20 to 49 then automatically your third class interval can be 50 to 89 and your fourth class interval can be 90 to 99. So in this way you have different types of class intervals then if you want to find out what could be the possible cash flow using the simulation method then you have to develop something known as random numbers. You have to develop something known as random numbers. So first I will give you some random number which can be any number I will put it here. I am going to think of some random numbers like uh, 13, 47, 6404. So these four are the random numbers. Now I have the class intervals. What I have to do is I have to check where these random numbers will fit into. Now I have four random numbers. These four random numbers have to be fitted into any of those class intervals. If you look at 13, 13 can come in the class interval of 0 to 19. If you look at 47, it can come in the class interval of 20 to 49. If you look at 64, it can come in the class interval of 50 to 89, whereas 4 again will come in the class interval of 0 to 19. So what, what I'm going to do is I'll write the random numbers first, which is 13, 47, 64, 4. So I'm writing here random numbers are 13. Let me go back again. It is 13. 47, 67 and 04 and we know what is the corresponding corresponding class intervals for these random numbers. The corresponding class intervals for these random numbers are 0 to 19 for 13, 0 to 19 for 13, 20 to 49 for 47. We will write them here. It is 0 to 19 then it is 20 to 
what was the class interval 20 to 49 and for the third case the class interval is 50 to 89 and for the fourth case again the class interval happened to be 0 to 90 so now what we have to do is we have to see what is the corresponding probability or what we can do is we can see what is the corresponding cash flows associated with this class interval so now if you go back to the earlier working you know that 0 to 19 class interval corresponds to cash flow of 10,000 okay so here we can write the corresponding cash flow is 10,000 and it is again repeated here so again we can write 10,000 in the fourth scenario then 20 to 49 class interval will give you cash flow of 15,000 the other one will give you 18,000 so 15,000 and 18,000 so now you have the random cash flows so the simulation theory says that if you want to know what is the possible cash flow you find out the cash flow using the random numbers like this then you have to aggregate these cash flows you have to aggregate these cash flows and then you divide it by numbers i mean how many cash flows you had right you divide it by number of uh, uh, cash flows or we'll say the number of simulation runs okay number of cash flows or number of simulation runs it in this case it is going to be 10000 plus 15000 plus 18000 plus again 10000 so it is 20 35 uh, 43 53000 divided by 4 so 53000 divided by 4 uh, let me check that it works out to 13,250. So now this is a possible cash flow because you had come across scenario where you had three to four cash flows, four different cash flows and they had varying probabilities. Now you have applied a simulation technique by developing the probability distribution followed by cumulative probability and random class interval. Then you have generated some random numbers applied in that. Then you got a final value. Now the cash flow is assumed to be 13,250. So your possible expected cash flow the possible expected cash flow is 13,250. I have now explained you the simulation model in a very, very crude way. In the next session, I'll give you the exact steps how we can approach the simulation model in capital budgeting.